Hi everybody and thank you for joining this webinar on Clarion's fourth edition of Beauty Forward. Beauty Forward is Clarion's trend platform where we showcase personal care trends and formulations that we've developed to address these trends. My name is Elisa Lorenz. I'm customer experience and trends lead in the Clarion Global Personal Care Marketing team. And I'm really excited for the panel discussion today. Every year Clarion works hard to collaborate with beauty journalists, influencers, formulators, and marketers. Um, what we do is scour the globe across many regions to identify different trends. We select the ones that are most relevant. And then, as mentioned, we develop formulations that address these trends. Today, I'm really excited to be joined by Sophie Qureshi, one of the journalists that we work closely with. She's a beauty journalist and brand consultant. And today, she'll be talking through the different trends that we identified for Beauty Forward Edition 4. I'm also really pleased to be joined by my colleagues, Karina Chalupa and Camille Pudevin. They are both um, formulation and application specialists at Clariant, and they'll be talking through the formulations and highlight ingredients in more detail. And lastly, before we dive into the trends, just some housekeeping points. First of all, you can download all of the trend and formulation information in the resource center, which is, you can find it in a little box on the screen. And in addition, you can ask questions throughout the whole panel discussion in a little Q&A chat box that you should also see on your screen. We have a separate team working on these, um, answering you throughout the whole discussion. Great, so let's get started and dive into our very first trend, fantasy formulations. Sophie, can you tell us a little bit more about um, this trend and what it's all about? Yeah, sure. So this trend is really all about sensorial experiences. Today, we're so embedded in technology and we spend a huge amount of our time glued to our devices. And that's really giving rise to a feeling where people are, are craving much richer sensorial experiences as a counterbalance to all of that screen time. We've seen that in recent years, personal spending on experiences has grown four times faster than spending on physical goods. So that really demonstrates the sort of change in people's priorities and what they feel brings real value to their lives. And the people that are really driving this trend are definitely the millennials. Uh, research has shown that the vast majority of millennials would much rather spend their hard-earned money on experiences rather than on a material object. And they're craving experiences that really stimulate their senses. So in response to this, we're seeing beauty companies now putting a lot more focus not just on developing formulations that deliver results, but also formulations that tap into that desire for sensory engagement. Interesting. So what, what kind of uh, beauty products are the latest products that we've seen on the market? Gosh, we've seen all sorts of really novel, unusual textures. So things like fizzy, crackling foams and then bouncy jellies and putties. And then we're also seeing much more playful formats. So things like exfoliating uh, cubes that look just like sugar cubes, um, but offer the same exfoliating benefits as a, a regular scrub. And the real sort of benefit of these, in, in addition to their standard skincare benefits, is that it enables people to sort of um, lose themselves in this sensory world while they're performing their skincare ritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so ironic that, you know, we're immersed in these 2D screen-filled worlds yeah. and it's pushing people to really want, crave want more of these the 3D yeah. experiences. Absolutely. Um, no, really fascinating. So the first formulation that Clarent has developed to address this trend for um, the digitally savvy millennial group is called the InstaReady Smoothing Primer Jelly. And it is catering to the desire for playful format. So it's actually a primer in this playful, fun jelly uh, form. And not only does it have skincare benefits, but it also has a grip benefit that optimizes makeup application. And I will now hand over to Camille, who will talk us through the formulation. Yes, sure. So this formulation is the makeup primer, and it's a really fun formulation. So it's a jelly texture, and it has a memory form. So which means when I will put my finger in it, the formulation will keep the form of my finger and then in a few minutes it will return to its initial state. And as you said, it has a grip effect for the foundation to stick on the face, but we also wanted it to be uh, smooth on the skin. So this is why we added uh, Aristoflex Velvet for the nice sensory. And as it's a face primer, you need uh, benefits for the skin. So we used a natural active ingredient polytensor, which will act as an anti-wrinkle. And we also use Fuligo, which will smoothes the skin and which improves the elasticity of the skin. 
this is all about it. Great, thank you. Um, the second formulation that we developed to address this trend is called the Cosmic Glitter Hair and Body Gel. And this caters to the desire for eye-catching visual metallic effects. And it's a clear gel infused with rose and gold-colored glitter that also has hair and skincare benefits. So coming back to you, I would love to hear yes. more about this formulation. Sure. So this is the Cosmic Glitter Hair and Body Gel. So this is a gel infused with glitter. And uh, to achieve this texture, we used our polymers, uh, Aristoflex AVC for the jelly texture, and Aristoflex TAC to suspend the glitter. And it will, the gel will dry and leave a really visual glittery aspect on the skin, on the face, or on the hair. So this is a multifunctional product. This is why we have uh, two actives, so Immortal Pep, which is an active for hair, which is preventing the hair loss and which is stimulating the hair stem, hair stem cells. And we have Multi-X Humidimax Plus, which is uh, providing hydration to the skin and which is leaving a really fresh feeling on the skin. Yeah, it's nice that you can use glitter without feeling yes. guilty. I mean, exactly. there's still benefits at the same time. Exactly. Great, thank you. And the third and final formulation that we developed to address this fantasy formulation trend is called the Crushed Candy Exfoliating Cubes. It's inspired by a sugar cube format and it caters to the desire for delightful sensorials. I will hand it back to Camille to talk about this interesting sure. format. So this is this one. So it looks like a sugar cube and it's a mild cleanser that is detoxifying the skin and exfoliating the skin and which will melt uh, with the contact of water onto the skin. It's a solid format, which means it's a waterless formulation and um, it's a transformative texture with uh, extra flash foam, which is uh, thanks to Glucotane Plus. And it also has a very caring feeling on the skin, even though it's a cleanser, thanks to Glucotane Sense and Muru Muru Butter. And also a very uh, good thing about this formulation, it's, it has a RCI of 96%, which is very high. Yep, wow, well, that's very impressive. Yeah. Um, no, I'm looking forward to trying that formulation out yeah, myself. You should. Also easy Definitely. to carry around, so it really taps into a lot of different yes. consumer desires. All right, so that wraps up our first trend, fantasy formulations. The next trend is called embracing aging. Sophie, so back to you. I would love to hear about this aging movement and what you're seeing in the market. Yeah, I mean, the whole conversation around aging is really changing at the moment. And that's because we're right in the middle of a really quite dramatic demographic shift. I think now they've said that by 2050, a quarter of the population will be aged 60 or over. And that's almost double what it was in 2015. So it's quite a dramatic change. Mm -hmm. And, you know, while an aging population obviously brings a lot of challenges in terms of, you know, putting stresses on healthcare systems and requiring a rethink of social structures, it also brings with it really exciting new opportunities. Because broadly speaking, uh, older people today are far healthier than they were in previous generations. And advances in technology and also in science mean that they're able to live much more active and engaged lives. And then what we're seeing happen is that because there are far more older people within our society, businesses are taking far more notice of them. And the beauty industry is, is no exception. So now that uh, women in their 50s and 60s account for a much bigger slice of the global beauty spend, beauty companies are, are really starting to give them the attention that this demographic deserves. Mm -hmm. And what exactly are they doing? So how, are the, well, how is the beauty industry responding to this growing target group? It's changing in so many ways. I mean, one of the big ways is in the language around aging, which is really shifting. So instead of uh, aging being presented as a kind of fight against time, we're seeing a much more sort of positive presentation of aging. It's, it's seen as something to be celebrated rather than something to kind of fight against. Um, but it's not just in terms of the communication. We're also seeing a big impact um, from the shift on product development as well. One big example of that is the way that the beauty industry is now finally acknowledging the menopause and the impact that this has on, on skin and hair and creating formulations that address this. You know, previously, we would never have seen a beauty brand even mention the word menopause. But now we're seeing whole brands uh, like Kindra and Pauswell Aging that are dedicated to tackling the effects of hormonal changes. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're also one other thing to mention is that we're seeing, particularly in the hair care space, a lot of changes in, in the way formulations are approached for that. Because now that aging doesn't have such a stigma, more and more people are choosing to embrace their gray hair and rather than dyeing it and covering it up, we're seeing formulations that uh, seek to bring out the beauty of gray hair and to enhance its silvery tones rather than dyeing it and concealing it. Mm -hmm. No, that's really interesting. It's nice to see people embracing all kinds of beauty or redefining yeah. what beauty means, yeah. um, specifically in this kind of 55 plus target group. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. I think there's, exactly. it's, that change has really needed to happen. So. Yeah, it's about time. Um, so to address that trend, which we're really proud of, we developed four different formulations. One of them, the first one is called the Illuminating Silver Hair Nectar, which caters to the, to the trend you mentioned, like the boosting the radiance of mature hair, um, and also embracing the gray aspect. So it's a leave-in uh, hair nectar product and it boosts shine and volume. And I think the other aspect is that more people in the age 55 plus target group are, are looking for different routines, more varied routines, um, not just the standard anti-aging cream. And I think this leave-in hair nectar addresses that as well. So I would love to hand over to Karina to discuss this formulation and the highlight ingredients. Yes, um, this formulation is a light leave-on lotion. Uh, it features Gen Advance Life, which will leave the hair shiny and it will make the hair look very alive without being greasy, being weighed out or um, the use of silicones. Um, it features a natural solubilizer, Valzan Flex, which uh, helps stabilizing the emollients. And the active in uh, this formulation is Equiscalp, which takes care um, of the scalp with its soothing properties. Mm -hmm. Nice, thank you. Um, and the next formulation, it's actually three formulations in one set called the Complete Radiance System. And it also caters to this embracing aging trend. Um, in this set, there are kind of three ampoules, so to speak. The first ampoule is the soothing ampoule, which has soothing skincare benefits. You can apply it via rollerball and it's more like a, a watery, uh, clear formulation. Then we have the plumping ampoule, which boosts the elasticity in skin. And uh, you'll see shortly uh, when Karina shows you, but it's a, more of a clear gel with gold flakes suspended in it. And then the third one is called the nourishing ampoule. And this is all about hydration, moisturizing, and it's kind of a gold colored gel. So back to you, we'd love to hear about these formulations. Yes, as you've mentioned, the first ampoule is a soothing ampoule. It comes in a, in a roll-on application, so it's a very easy application. Uh, it protects the skin with using uh, Actisem Gold Nest, which actually boosts the mechanism of uh, cell regeneration. Mm -hmm. uh, we have anti-irritation properties due to a Cosmos-approved active ingredient called Made White. Uh, we used um, a rheology modifier to slightly uh, make the formulation more viscous to uh, uh, allow an easy and non-runny application, but also making the, feel, uh, making the skin feel silky afterwards. Uh, then we have the second one. The second one is um, this one. The second one is the plumbing ampoule. It comes in an applicator. Uh, uh, the actives in this formulation are key. We are using the Cosmos approved Epsima, which is also an anti-wrinkle and anti-aging active ingredient. Uh, it contains Fulio, which has the same properties, but on the other hand, um, helps with uh, stem cell protection. Mm -hmm. uh, a fun twist or a nice twist about this formulation are the gold flakes. You can actually rub it in, or not rub it in, but rub it, and it will make the skin feel extra shiny and glamorous. Uh, the third uh, formulation is the golden uh, formulation. This formulation is, in contrary to the other two, an oil-based formulation, which allows us to be preservative-free. Um, it contains Plant Essence Carefree Light and Plant Essence Olive LD for a non-greasy application, actually making the skin feel powdery without the use of silicones. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I think it's also nice to see that these are really luxurious sensorials as well. So again, catering to the fantasy formulation aspect as well that you have different kinds of um, yeah, sensorials than the standard. Right, so that wraps up the embracing aging trend and on to the last and third trend that we'll be discussing today called active beauty. So Sophie, where did this active beauty trend come from? 
I think health has really become the ultimate status symbol now. We've seen in fashion that athleisure fashion has grown to be a huge industry that's worth now over $350 billion. And we're starting to really see the same thing happen in beauty, because just as in fashion, athleisure fashion allowed people to uh, be on the go and on the move and offered clothing that works just as well for going to a workout class as it does for running errands or you know, picking up the kids from school. That's exactly what we're seeing happen in, in beauty now with formulations that sort of cater to on the go active lifestyles. And that doesn't necessarily have to mean going to the gym. It might just mean living a busy, hectic life. Mm -hmm. And are we seeing then actually new products that cater to this trend, you know, with actually different benefits and claims, or is it more just positioning communications? It's sort of both. I mean, obviously a big part of it is positioning, but actually exercise does place really specific stresses on the skin. You know, when you're sweating a lot, that's got the potential to clog pores and exacerbate breakouts. But also there's other things that you might not think about, like if you are exercising a lot, you tend to shower more frequently. And that frequent showering, if you're doing that more than sort of once a day, can really strip lipids from the skin and leave skin and also hair much more dehydrated. So we're starting to see a whole host of new brands cropping up, catering to these needs of, that exercise places on, on the skin. But we're also seeing uh, big players like Clinique offering collections dedicated to workout beauty. So Clinique have a whole Clinique Fit collection and it includes products like a mattifying moisturizer that's a very lightweight, oil-free formulation to take down the shine after, after exercise. And they also do things like a yellow-toned face powder to neutralize that redness mm -hmm. that you get after exercise as well. And that's something actually that we're starting to see a lot more of because as exercise becomes increasingly social, you know, it's no longer just something that we do on our own, but people go to work out with their friends or they might go to brunch after a workout class. We're actually seeing lots more cosmetics that are specifically designed to be able to be worn during exercise as well. So brands like Sweat Cosmetics, which is a line created by a, line of, uh, by a, a group of professional athletes, they offer makeup that's all entirely sweat resistant everything from foundations and bronzers to illuminators and as well as being sweat resistant they're mineral based so you can be confident that it isn't going to clog your pores or exacerbate breakouts. Mm -hmm. No, I can definitely relate to that trend just because even if it's not about exercising, you know, as you said, you're running around all day and not doing the touch-ups like yeah, exactly. You would want. And you want something that's that's sort of easy right. to apply as well. Which another thing that we're seeing is mm -hmm. that it's having a big impact on formats too. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing lots more stick and solid formulations because they're easy to apply on the go. Right. Whether that's going to the gym or just dashing out the door. So we're seeing stick cleansers, stick exfoliators, mm -hmm. primers, and you can get sort of stick formulations now in pretty much every category. Like keep it in your purse. You can yeah, use it exactly. Whatever. It's just easy to, to apply on the go. What's also nice is like you mentioned, some of the ingredients have also changed so that you catering to, you know, more sweat, yeah. et cetera, and being more active that you can also feel like it can also look good and work out or be active yeah, at the same exactly. time, whereas before it was kind of guilty. Yeah, you know, yeah, you, can can I leave you felt bad about wearing on. makeup on. Yeah. yeah. Um, so to address this trend of this more active lifestyle, we've uh, developed two formulations. The first is called the Fight the Frizz Hair Stick. And this is, to your point, catering to the demand for mess-free applications. So you don't have to use your hand. You can just apply the stick straight on your hair. And this tames flyaways and frizz um, as necessary, for instance, before or after a workout or just while you're having a busy day. And I will hand over to Camille now to talk about this formulation. So this formulation, the stick is presented like this mm -hmm. and it glides on hair very easily and it adds a healthy shine to the hair, which is making it ideal to use after a workout or on the go for touch-ups. Mm -hmm. um, it leaves no residue or greasiness to the hair and is also free of silicones, which we can achieve uh, thanks to Plantas and Squalane. But while leaving no residue, it conditions and hydrates the hair. Thanks to Plantasense VP170, our vegetable petrolatum replacement, and uh, Genamine BTMS. So this is a perfect fit for this trend. Thank you. The second formulation in this trend is called the um, Get Even Tinted Mineral SPF 30 Stick. Also stick formulation and caters again to the mess-free application, a demand for that. Not only that though, it also caters to the increasing demand for even coverage um, and, and kind of longer wear. So 
Now we're going to talk to Karina about this formulation. Yes, uh, this formulation is also an on-the-go product. It contains uh, mineral or organic sun filters. It is similar to a BB stick. Um, due to our emollients, plant essence, uh, Abyssinian oil and olive LD, it leaves a non-greasy skin feel. Uh, we've also used plant essence cosmetic wax A5 for a um, very for an optimized hardness. A very optimized hardness in this case is important for an easy glide on, so making it even easier to use. Um, uh, it also gives us even spreading, and even spreading in a, in case of a BB stick means even coloration. Mm -hmm. So very easy to use yes. then. Um, that's nice. Maybe even without a mirror. Yes, you can. Yes, yes. Yeah. While walking on the street. All right. Thank you. So that wraps up. Um, the formulations and trends that we are currently launching for the fourth edition of Beauty Forward. Um, please contact your local sales representative in order to arrange for formulations to be brought to you so you can have a chance to touch and really feel them. Alternatively, you can go to clarent.com slash beauty forward where you can contact us there as well. Not only contact us, but you can also download the trend and formulation information as well as explore our personal care ingredients like the ones that Camille and Karina mentioned today. Since we're constantly scouring the world for trends and developing new formulations, please also stay tuned for more information coming from the Beauty Forwards platform. And just another housekeeping tip um, to wrap up, the Q&A chat box will remain open for another 15 to 20 minutes since our team is still going to be available there. And that about uh, summarizes it. So thank you very much for tuning in and we hope to hear from you soon.